What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, is that a sex bob shirt? Yeah, it is. Because we are Do You Nerd, and we're here to talk about games and toys and get nerdy and stuff! Yes, oh my gosh, I never thought this day was actually going to come. Didn't we order this like over a year ago? Future Tom, what's it say? Yeah, oh, okay, so obviously Sex bob shirt because we are talking about Scott freaking Pilgrim, the game. I had so much fun with that game. When it was announced and we saw a trailer, yes. I mean the... Yes so much fun to play the river city ransom vibes to it all the fun little easter eggs the characters everything about it was so cool except for the fact that it was digital only on the ps3 and they even took it down so if you didn't have it saved on your system you're out of luck we had it saved on ours, and we hoped upon hope that nothing would ever happen to that console so that we could have it in a limited run after years of people bothering them, saying they needed to bring this game to a physical form. They did. Crazy son of a bitch, you did. And since this was one of the and games... it took years to get it. <laughs> well, since this was one of the games that we were most looking forward to, we went big. We did. In their defense, they did get the uh, the standard, you know, copy of it out yes. in a fairly timely fashion. But that wasn't good enough for us, no. We had to go with the Whoa. big box. This thing is freaking Bug. heavy. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this. Oh, it's packaged nicely. Wow. That looks, that, that looks a little familiar. <laughs> looks a little familiar. Look at that. <laughs> Here it is. So we're <laughs> going to... I gonna, forgot what it came with. <laughs> we're going to take a look at this and then we're going to discuss it with you guys. Oh, man. Seriously. I forgot that it came in an attache case. <laughs> that was so cool. Okay, so wow. I mean, this is really taking us back because other than that initial picture when it went up for sale, yeah. we had honestly forgotten what was in this. So it was really cool to kind of go through <laughs> it and explore. And it's like, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, there's this. And it felt like it just kept going. Yeah, it really did. So first and foremost, I mean, this case is amazing and it is hefty. Even without all of the stuff in it, I mean, it's, it's you know... It's still a metal case. Yeah, metal case. All of the rivets in the side and everything. I mean, it is genuine. And of course, when you open it up, it does have that lovely little stage performance. So you've got that lovely concert performance by Sex bob -omb. And all of them <laughs> are in their fun little cartoony avatar forms, you know, looking straight out of the books. I love it. Scott is rocking out. You got uh, Kim Pines back there on the drums, obviously shouting out their band's battle cry. And right up front, who do we have on the mic? You have Ramona. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to hear it when it's finished. Finished? <laughs> but this is cool. I love the LED lights. I love that it mm. plays music whenever you open it up. You likened it to the uh, like birthday cards. Like those and birthday stuff. cards when you open it up and it starts singing or playing something. Peter, close the card. Yeah, I'm sure he's fine. Ah! 
And then you lift that up and then everything else is underneath it. Yeah, and it's molded all nicely uh -huh. so everything fits in there very nicely so you can keep everything in one place. Also, as far as like display pieces, you know, yeah. if you want to open that up and everything, great. If you want to keep it all closed up like this, maybe help keep that dust out or and everything. Or if you're a nerd and you have to go to the office, clean it out and you've got a briefcase. There you go. That's the way to go. <laughs> well, jumping right into the game, you have that almost Genesis style clamshell. Obviously, it's oversized. Some really, really cool art all over that. <laughs> Inside, it's got a nice spacer piece so that you can have all of the extra bits, like the stickers and stuff that went in there. But then also the game itself. Now, it does have the hang tab. It has tab, the hang so. tab, so to me, it's complete. Sorry, Captain. Well, I guess I don't need this shirt anymore. And it even came with a slip cover yeah. for the clamshell itself. I mean, they they went all out with every. They really did. So not only did you have the game in there, but there were some fun 8-bit stickers in there, and you got all of the evil X's, plus some coins. Sweet. Coins. Sweet. Coins. Now, are those the evil ex-boyfriends? Evil exes. This ex-boyfriends <laughs> thing is messing with my head. Exes. Why do you keep saying oh! You and her? It was just a phase. Just a phase? You had a sexy phase? Obviously, we don't love to adhere stickers to just one thing, so No, we I like think, to make magnets out of them. I think these are so going to make some awesome pretty magnets, Pretty fun too. magnets. And then you have the soundtrack. Which is great because honestly, the music it in the game. Really good music, yeah. yeah, it was so much fun. And compared to some of the other video game soundtracks that we've gotten over the years, this one will be a lot more fun to listen to in the car because it won't be lulling us to nope. sleep. And this is a CD. <laughs> it's what we had prior to MP3. Oh, I've seen one of those. Now, the game itself, of course, in the standard Switch case, but it does have this awesome reversible cover, which I really, really like. So, depending on which version you want, if you want to go with the fun, complete edition with all the X's right there, or if you want to go with just the cartoony, uh, kind of a Sonic the Hedgehog flair Scott Pilgrim cover, <laughs> you've got your choice. And there's the game. I think someone's going to claim it. My game. <laughs> a fun extra piece is check out. That is awesome. The we get a ticket for the epic clash at Demon Head Show. <laughs> <laughs> and a teeny tiny little booklet. Look at the instruction booklet on the bottom Look, there. It's written in like the Super Nintendo font. It, yes. Oh, they're they're winning me over. They are. Like they're doing over great. and over again. So fun. Full color. You got your controls. You've got your fighting techniques. There your are your cast of characters. Nazis. There are your enemies. I always loved in manuals when it would show you the enemies with the artwork from the game and everything. The evil X's. Oh, the co-op oh, actions fun. because it is all about yes, co-op in this game. Yep. Talking about your level up and your shopping. Oh, look at that. Map. There's even a map of Toronto. It's not an actual map of Toronto, just just so you know. <laughs> I noticed the ticket hadn't been used yet, so do you think we can still make it to the concert? Ooh, well, actually, you know, it says for August 10th, 2010, so not oh. only are we late there, but by the time it took to get to us, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not going to work out. Speaking of that map of Toronto. Which you absolutely love maps from video games. We get a lovely giant 8-bit map. And that's actually a really, really cool looking one. This would be a lot of fun to frame this one and put it on the wall. Oh, I 1 million percent would have had this up on the wall as a kid. Hey, can you do a thingy off the rail over there? Uh, it's called a grind. Yeah. The rail's trash. Can you do a grind thingy? <laughs> Can you do a thingy on that rail? It's 
called a grind, bro. <laughs> what are some more fun bits well, in here? Well, we got some uh, Scott Pilgrim Sex bob little guitar picks These here. These are nice. And they're really nice. They're embossed, so, you know, you can kind of feel that logo on there. And they're that, like, that see-through, almost like tortoise shell kind of look to them. And we also got... Hey, that's what I needed at the start. <laughs> yep. And on them... You've got drums and the band members playing their guitars. Nice. It's almost like if you go from one end to the other, it's almost like a little bit of animation. Yeah, it looks like if you could move it like really, really fast, you could like see them do stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Not only did we get a CD soundtrack, but we got a cassette soundtrack. This, ladies and gentlemen, came before the CD did. You We're getting even more retro here. You ever seen uh, <laughs> clips of like younger kids and people trying to figure out how to even open the case. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I can remember being a kid with my Walkman and I used to have to carry a fanny pack around. For you British people, that's, um, that goes around the waist. And I would have it full of cassettes so that when I would go roller skating, I could just like unzip it, pull out a different cassette, and listen to it while I was roller skating around. Mostly Bon Jovi songs. We also have the complete edition behind the Pixels book. This is a nice it's a hardback, nice hardback book. Yeah. Great artwork right off the bat. And then talking about Scott's origins. Looks like an interview with uh, Brian O'Malley, the creator of Scott Pilgrim. Nice. And some great in-process art pieces. Gotta love concept art. This is so cool. Look at these great images of like Scott and Ramona right here. This is so <laughs> much fun. Even illustrated by Brian O'Malley. And then you have a strategy guide by Prima Games. Hey, that nice. was uh, the yeah. strategy guide people back in the day. So this is very, very cool. And it breaks it down by character. It's talking about the combos, the tips and tricks. And then you have that walkthrough. It's even talking about fighting the bosses. Oh, Lucas Lee. See, grindy thing. And these are great full color pictures thrown in here. This is gonna be very handy. Got yeah. some extra stuff, some bonus modes. Awesome things. It's gonna be a lot of fun. But you know what? You can tell it to the cleaning lady on Monday. Wait, why Monday? Because it's Friday now. She's the weekends off, so Monday, right? You're, she dusts. You're gonna be dust. Because you'll be pulverized in two seconds. And the cleaning lady, she cleans up dust. She dusts. You know how much I love my buttons. We get a nice 8-bit button here. Nice. So these are great for either putting it in a bulletin board or your backpack or just a strip of fabric on the wall. Or if you're a big rebel, you stick it straight into the wall. <laughs> in that lovely 8-bit design. Yep. That is so cool. And finally, you have some Scott Pilgrim cards. And we're going through the evil X's right here. Some fantastic artwork talking about their powers as well. I always liked uh, Matthew Patel's hipster demon chicks. I they know, were a lot, they were of, a lot fun. of fun. My demon hipster chicks. Tell me, and <laughs> Roxy, I don't want to hit a girl. You're soft. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can hit a girl. They're soft. You don't have a choice. Okay, so this is great because unlike a lot of the other limited run games that we will often pick up this isn't something that's new to us you know we're yeah. very familiar with the scott pilgrim game and this was something that we wanted physical for a long time again because of how much we liked the game and everything we went big we went for the huge complete edition mega ultra uber super collector we set also here don't do very often no no <laughs> not at these person uh, but anyway <laughs> But very worth it. I mean, this I'm, was definitely worth it. I'm money. very pleased because a lot of this stuff is practical, practical items. You know, uh, I, I love having the book. The fact that it's also a strategy guide and a walkthrough for the game, that's really cool and helpful. The cards are fun. The pen is very fun. We're going to put those stickers to use as magnets. We like the music enough that having a fun cassette tape and CD, both throwback musical formats <laughs> to us, 
is so cool. We love the Genesis, so having something that comes in a big old clamshell is just great. I love my maps, so yeah. I love this map. And things like the guitar picks, the drumsticks. Uh, yeah, and I'm impressed that it's made out of the real materials that those things would be made out of. They didn't just skimp out and give you just like little drumsticks or whatever. I mean, like they gave you like full-size wooden drumsticks. A few other things to note, there is an enhanced full digital guide. And also, <laughs> Limited Run did send a little code here. You mean the world to us. We appreciate your support and would like to reward your patience. Here's a code for $5 off a future purchase at Limited Run. So that was very thoughtful yes, of them you. to think of you uh, because it did take a long time for this to get here with the world being crazy, supply issues and all that. We understand it didn't make us any less impatient, <laughs> obviously, for everything. But ultimately... I feel it was worth it mm -hmm. because I really like this set. I love the stage that pops up when you that open the case. That was awesome, yeah. Being able to put all of this into the case and have a fairly low profile collector yeah. set. I mean, this isn't something that's going to take up a lot of space. Like some of those bigger boxes will often do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even the case did have that nice... Slip cover on it. Hard cardboard slip cover, yeah. So great touches all around. Very pleased, Limited Run, and thank you, job, thank guys. you for finally sending it out. So happy and so glad to have this game in a physical format so it's not lost to history, to be honest. So do I know what you're doing while I'm going to go make dinner? Oh, absolutely. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to wait because this is a game that just That's excels true. at co-op play. True. So we are going to play this together. So I'll be ordering pizza so we can play. And, uh, <laughs> you know, Scott Pilgrim, Ramona Flower style, you're going to slip me into your purse and roller skate ride me through subspace and we're going to go I don't know where this fight is going. some X's. <laughs> All right, well, nerdlings, please let us know what you thought of this case. Did any of you opt in for the big one? Uh, did any of you just go for the game? Have you played the game? Did you play it before? Did you only play it once it was available via limited run and obviously digital outlets? And what did you think? Are you a fan of the game? Do you like any element, maybe just the music from the game? Did you like the movie? Have you ever read the graphic novels? Because they're a lot of fun to read. And there is a ton of stuff that didn't make it into the movie and that actually didn't even make it into the game. So give that a check out if you have it before. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, nerdlings... We definitely nerd it for anything to do with Scott Pilgrim. All right, well, I have the proper tools to... <laughs> play a song. <laughs> Go for it. And, uh... <laughs> no, no, nope, that's not where those go. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. <laughs> You already know where I'm going to this, don't you? Yes. <laughs> you don't have any rhythm. You're like, I, 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 I. Yeah, she didn't really have any rhythm either. <laughs>